Thai FSB acquired a new position in shares of FedEx Corporation, New York Stock Exchange FDX, in the second quarter, according to its most recent 13F filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The firm acquired 25,839 shares of the shipping service provider's stock, valued at approximately $5,615,000. A number of other hedge funds and other institutional investors have also made changes to their positions in FDX. State of Wisconsin Investment Board raised its stake in shares of FedEx Corporation by 13.9% during the first quarter. State of the Wisconsin Investment Board now owns 359,563 shares of the shipping service provider stock worth $70,169,000 after purchasing an additional 43,758 shares in the last quarter. Profit and Goods and Incorporated purchased a new stake in shares of FedEx Corporation during the first quarter worth about $269,000. Mutual of America Capital Management LLC raised its stake in shares of FedEx Corporation by 1.7% in the first quarter. Mutual of America Capital Management LLC now owns 43,933 shares of the shipping service provider's stock valued at $8,574,000 after acquiring an additional 743 shares in the last quarter. Stevens Capital Management LP bought a new position in shares of FedEx Corporation in the first quarter valued at approximately $4,780,000. Finally, Lyle Wealth Management LP raised its stake in shares of FedEx Corporation by 117.4% in the first quarter. Lyle Wealth Management LP now owns 7,212 shares of the shipping service provider stock valued at $1,410,000 after acquiring an additional 3,895 shares in the last quarter. Hedge funds and other institutional investors own 76.27% of the company's stock. Shares of FedEx Corporation, New York Stock Exchange FDX traded up 71 cents on Friday, reaching $218.15. The company's stock had a trading volume of 936,200 shares, compared to its average volume of 1,075,465. The company has a market cap of $58,496.49, a P.E. ratio of 18.32 a price-to-earnings growth ratio of 1.37, and a beta of 1.37. FedEx Corporation has a 52-week low of $182.11, and a 52-week high of $231.35. The company has a current ratio of 1.63, a quick ratio of 1.57, and a debt-to-equity ratio of 0.91. FedEx Corporation New York Stock Exchange FDX last released its earnings results on Tuesday, September 19. The shipping service provider reported $2.51 earnings per share for the quarter, missing analysts' consensus estimates of $3.17 by $0.66. Cents. The firm had revenue of $15.30 billion for the quarter, compared to the consensus estimate of $15.35 billion. FedEx Corporation had a return on equity of 20.69% and a net margin of 4.72%. The company's revenue was up 4.1% compared to the same quarter last year. During the same quarter in the previous year, the firm earned $2.90 EPS. Sell side analysts forecast that FedEx Corporation will post 12.47 EPS for the current fiscal year. In related news, director Kim Jabel sold 3,980 shares of the company's stock in a transaction dated Wednesday, November 1. The stock was sold at an average price of $225.55, for a total value of $897,689. Following the completion of the sale, the director now owns 6,080 shares in the company, valued at $1,371,344. The transaction was disclosed in a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is available at the SEC website. 
Also, CEO Michael L. Decker sold 14,964 shares of the company's stock in a transaction dated Friday, September 29. The shares were sold at an average price of $225.85, for a total value of $3,379,619.40. Following the completion of the sale, the chief executive officer now owns 53,397 shares of the company's stock, valued at approximately $12,059,712.45. The disclosure for this sale can be found here. In the last 90 days, insiders have sold 40,094 shares of company stock valued at $9,024,637. 8.45% of the stock is currently owned by corporate insiders. A number of brokerages recently weighed in on FDX. Cohen and Company reissued an outperform rating and issued a $240 price objective on shares of FedEx Corporation in a research note on Friday, October 13. Stifel Nicholas reissued a neutral rating on shares of FedEx Corporation in a research note on Wednesday, August 16. Citigroup Incorporated reissued a buy rating and issued a $235 price objective on shares of FedEx Corporation in a research note on Thursday, September 14. Bank of America Corporation reaffirmed a buy rating and issued a $240 price target on shares of FedEx Corporation in a research report on Wednesday, September 20. Finally, Vetra downgraded FedEx Corporation to a sell rating and set a $204.84 price target on the stock. In a research report on Thursday, August 31st, one equities research analyst has rated the stock with a sell rating, six have issued a hold rating and 22 have issued a buy rating to the company. FedEx Corporation presently has an average rating of buy and an average target price of $228.56. FedEx Corporation Company Profile FedEx Corporation, FedEx, provides a portfolio of transportation, e-commerce and business services through companies competing collectively, operating independently and managed collaboratively, under the FedEx brand. The company's segments include FedEx Express, TNT Express, FedEx Ground, FedEx Freight and FedEx Services.